Tori Amos, pianiste, zangeres, componiste. Groeide ooit op als de kleine vrouwelijke Mozart van een provinciestadje in de Amerikaanse staat North Carolina. Nu, een kleine dertig jaar later, woont ze in Londen en zit ze in de pop. Vorig jaar debuteerde ze verrassend met de cd Little Earthquakes. Snow can weigh, I forgot my mittens. Wipe my nose, give my new boots. This is like a candy shop. This is the best thing you're going to eat in a long time. I put my hand in my father's clothes. I run off. This is where all the newborn pianos are. This one. Making friends. That's how you make friends. How you make friends with you don't know, you know, you have to kind of go, what's your name? What's my name? And uh, do you believe in reincarnation? No, I don't know. Hmm, all that stuff. And there's magic down here. This is um to me pianos are real things. Real beings. And um, this one and I aren't really communicating that well. I mean, we don't have an incredible vibe. It's okay. It's like you're not going to date every guy you meet. That doesn't mean you can't, like, have a cup of coffee with him or something. We understand that, you know, it's not a marriage. These are... Um, these are my friends. And I'm their friend, and I think that... Most pianists will tell you that. It's, um, Jesus, if I saw somebody destroying a piano, I'd fucking murder them. Wouldn't think twice. Just defending the life of your, your best friend. And I will never need umbrellas in the rain. I wake up in this is like an ice cream shop. Series problems in this store. This is. Where can we go? Down to the studios. Yeah. If you just go round down the stairs to the okay. bottom and turn left. Thank you. And the atrocities of school I can't forgive. The happy round of This way? Yes. Let's just do a little bit.
je m'appelle Tori et toi. <laughs> Low fat. <clears throat> Let's go upstairs and play those. This is a good fun night. So what was the first piano music you played that you can remember? Church music. I played everything in C then. Yeah. I played everything in C, so. Um, okay. Oklahoma. Every night, my honey love and I sit alone and talk. And watch the hawk making lazy circles in the sky. Oh, you, you know. Which musical is that from? Oklahoma. How about Mozart? You played Mozart too, didn't you? Oh, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody was playing it really well, but nobody was... <laughs> you choose what side of the fence you want to be on. If you're going to be a performer, if you're going to be a classical pianist and play the classics, then be the best and to be top 30 in the world is a very it's it's commitment it has to come from the deepest place in your being I think to represent those songs in a way that the others and I and I wasn't interested enough not that the music isn't as much as I am. But you were considered a, a, a very uh, gifted child when you were four or five and you were playing the piano, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so you, you went to, uh, they sent you to a special school. Oh, yeah, the Peabody Conservatory. At the age of? Five. You know, you got to remember, I, I entered when I was, it was 1968. And I was a minister's daughter in a conservative home. guys have hair to their butt and hair everywhere and mostly guys in the school more than girls just because it was and um, there's this one black guy I can tell you exactly right now what he looked like he wore one of those things around his uh, hair you know one of those scarves love in a way. Through the music, I mean, I was six, he was 18, and he'd sit and talk to me, and talk to me about music. He'd say, do you know what's going on out there? And I'd say, no, what's going on?
hasn't been independence for women that we've known in Christian culture. There hasn't been independence for women. It hasn't existed. It's happening during my lifetime, which is exciting. Mm. But this is very serious. Yeah. When a 19-year-old girl comes up and talks to me about choice, I'm anti-choice, Tori, and I can't believe that you would be for something like that. Girls in America, 19 years old, come up to me and say this, and I say, do you know where we've come from? Do you know our history as women? It was put in our mind and taught through history, if we really look and read history, that we are the daughters of Eve and sinful creatures and you know, any woman that had sex before she was married was defiled. We weren't decent goods. We couldn't be traded so that the papas and the men could, you know, secure all these alliances. It's very involved, that. But what it did is it made us feel shameful or made us really feel, okay, if that's how it is, then pay for it, honey and you pay big. Just pretend that you love me the night. 
Look at what's happening now. Now it's much more subliminal. But I had a dinner with ten women recently. You would have loved to have been there. Yeah, why? But like, you'd have to have been there without them knowing you were there because I don't think it would have been as open. Because we were all talking about our relationships with men and how when we fall in love, I don't mean in lust, I mean you're with a guy for, yeah. let's say, a couple years, over yeah. a couple. Let's push three, four, because that's when you really get to know him. Mm -hmm. And you get to know when they're not feeling confident. You get to know when um, they're not feeling like the provider. It's really easy for the wolf to come in, you know, marching mm -hmm. and I'm here. <laughs> and then, you know, you get to know yeah. each other. And so you become good friends. Well, it's real interesting talking about how to feel like we can have friends and <coughs> that passionate throw me up against the wall and lick me. Mm -hmm. It's a bit interesting. And we all talked about how in our minds, passion was not a part of love. It wasn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. Passion was more a part of lust. When I say passion, I don't mean like, oh, darling, I love you. I don't mean romance. I'm talking about, oh. I think men have that too. I, I mean, do too. Men have it too. I do too. It's just been a bit different how, I mean, let's really look. A 16-year-old boy sowing his seeds is a bit different than a 16-year-old girl coming home pregnant to daddy. It's a bit different. You're not a nice girl if you're 16 and pregnant. But you can still be a nice boy and be sowing your seeds at 16. This is very serious in society, the way we look at that. That if you spread and you're a girl, you're a slut yeah. at that age. But if you're a boy, you're just being a man yeah. growing up. <laughs> Without a sound. 
Snow can wait, I forgot my winters. Wipe my nose, get my new boots on. Get a little warm in my heart when I think of winter. I put my hand in my father's clothes. I run off. Where the drifts get deeper Sleeping beauty Trips me with a frown I hear a voice You must learn to stand up For yourself Cause I can't always be around He says When you gonna make up
can feel the distance as you breathe. And so. So 